I, I come from a pretty tough background and not having dad in my life. And growing up, I'd try and find father figures in any kind of man that I'd see that was successful because my mum was just with some deadbeat and... Caress it in. I wouldn't say caress it, no. But don't gonna, smash it in just there. Just don't go full <laughs> on. Are we still talking about plastic? I was locked up and the guy who comes and like gives you food and stuff, he says, why are you here? And I said, what do you mean? He said, you're the only person that when you, when you come in on a Friday, you're perfect all weekend. And then you, uh, you say, I'm not going to be back. And then the following week, you're back. I noticed on your profile you do stuff with uh, Stabia. Oh, they just come and approached me, yeah. They asked me to be one of their true pro ladies. Obviously, I use like a spirit level now and again, the panel mouldings and things like that. But no, I like working with them guys. They're lovely over there. It's good fun. We are back with the Trade Legends podcast. Finally, me and you are reunited. It's been well. a while. We I reckon are... it's been six weeks six since weeks. me and Alan. And you've, and you've loved every minute not seeing me, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, not, not here. Been able to free reign a two hour podcast, haven't I, Jack? Yeah. Chat shit and wax lyrical. I like <laughs> Basically, it. Basically. I like That's it. That's how it went. Yeah. And we've got two fabulous new guests for tonight. Let we... me do the intro. Come on then. I've been practicing this one. Oh, God. Mark, Mary, Mary, Mark, 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 Mary, Mark, <laughs> Mary, Mark, 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 Mary, Al. Oh, what's going on? That's a pretty good introduction. You didn't really say why we was here, uh, though. No, I just, just wanted to just, do the name. That just sounded yeah. like he was, you know, like where you used to get it stuck on, like... <laughs> 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 Rewind, like, that. like an old VHS. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so... Come on, then. Um, Introduce him, Al. Come on. Ah, oh, OK. We've got Mark in tonight from Lawns, Stripes and Hedges. Mary's one's the one where you're going to struggle, isn't he? He loves it. What, um, what type of... What type of work does she do? Five... Uh, no, stop, right there. Uh, Go on, Mark. I've been, I had it. Fibre optic. Don't forget. <laughs> no, look, I'm giving you the signal. Yeah. Change for BT. What's, what the hell is that? Come on. I, no, honestly, Mary, I can't. What is Come it? Come now. Traditional <laughs> fibrous plasterer. Traditional fibrous plasterer. Oh, my God, he's useless. I had it. I had it. Literally five <laughs> minutes ago, I had useless. it. Nailed it. I don't know how. What's... <laughs> What's your issue? Uh, He's a plumber. He's <laughs> gone again. He's gone again. He's gone again. Plumber, traditional go. fibrous... Plasterer. There you go. I've oh, struggled. There's another I've got one that I've teeth and I can't yes. even. So. <laughs> yes, there was another one that I really struggled with. I guess getting it out. I can't remember who it was. It was the gas gas flow gas flow resin flooring. Epoxy resin flooring. Yeah, Epo oh, right. they just done me with that. But yeah. no. Anything longer than two, two words. <laughs> two two symbols are out, just mate. Can't, two really. symbols are out. Drops it out. Yeah. No. So should we, uh, should we do the gentlemanly thing and ladies first? Yeah, because we're nice like that. Oh, ladies right, first, Mary. Yeah. Check you. Yeah, I was moaning <laughs> because Mark here was late. Yeah. He was 20 minutes. Oh, he was no, 20 miles ago, he four was hours an hour, away. Over an hour late and I've had to sit here. Waiting for him. Chit chat. He's, my, a, he's, a, is, YouTube, he's a YouTube superstar. Yeah, like these days. Oh, sorry, I'm guys, sorry, but yeah. that does not give you any excuses. Don't well, cut the mustard, really, Mary, does it? It does no, not. You get mustard. sacked That's in my yard. absolutely disgusting. I shouldn't have even come. <laughs> you should have. You should have stayed at home doing your little mowing. I know, I know. <laughs> Christ, <laughs> I'm cutting mowing. grass right now. Cutting your astroturf, mate. Go and cut your astroturf. Oh, is it astroturf? It's not even real grass. No, I don't. Yeah, I just. I have to fake it, to be honest. <laughs> fake it till you I don't, make I don't it. even cut edges anymore. <laughs> I don't oh, think you do. No. No. Oh, so, yeah, anyway. Anyway, go on. Yeah. Mary. Yes. What we tend to do on the Trade Legends podcast, which is a bit different to some of the others out there, is we get you to sort of mm. take us back to, obviously not like five, six years old, but oh, take oh, us back yeah. to when you're sort of 16 or whatever, yeah. leaving school. What were you planning on doing? Were you? Did you want to do this the whole time? So give us yeah. a bit of backstory to how you got into what you're doing and why you are sort of where you are now. Where I doing, am. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, I got into it because my dad and my brother, my dad's been in the trade since like, yeah, the 80s, early 80s. Same thing? Yeah, traditional uh, fibrous plastering. And yeah, my brother followed him and then I followed him into it as well. But yeah, I kind of always knew it was, it was my thing. I've always been quite like talented at it in a way. Did your dad so, used to take you out on yeah. jobs and stuff? Yeah, jobs you? and stuff, yeah, when I was little. But now I like to stay in the yard. Like, the yard's my comfort zone. Your domain. Yeah, it's where, where my power is in the yard. Yeah. Mm. I mean, the, the, for anybody listening and watching, because it's not your typical... Plastering. Plastering, skimming, all that sort of stuff. It's quite... Some of the work that you do, is it looks quite intricate, quite yeah. delicate, not for brummy hands, because we're no. heavy-handed. Um, so, 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 yeah, so sort of, 
what type of customer or person is using the the sort of skill set that you that you offer to people and you know, give us a little bit of background to... Yeah, well, we do loads of different... I mean, we do loads of new builds where people can just order straight from our website because we've got an online shop. So you can literally, like, measure your room, go on online, have a look at what cornice, coving, whatever it is you want to pick, mm. put your measurements in, and then, yeah, you can just literally pay for it, get shipped out and sent out. Or we have our other... We do loads of different services, but, like, our match to existing and restoration work, mm. I love all that because that's the real old mouldings, you know? Yeah. And they have to be made to the exact like, specification as they was hundreds of years ago. Mm. So that's the traditional part. But I love doing that, like, literally get, like, the tiniest little bit of broken up cornice, putting it back together and making it into, like, a nine-foot mould. It's mm. good fun. I mean, how, how did your dad then come to be in that sort of line of work because it's it's yeah. it's not something that you hear of you all just the like t- fall into no yeah. it's not yeah. he was doing like labouring on building sites when he was like 16 years old mm. and he see like a, a guy doing it so he's just sort of started hanging around him and kept asking him can you take me on and the man was like no I'm not taking anyone on and yeah he just kept going back and yeah one day he said come on then we go so yeah, my dad went off of him, done an apprenticeship, and then went out on his own and started doing all his own work. So, so there's a lesson. There's a lesson there. in there. Annoy somebody enough, and eventually they'll come. Yeah, they'll keep, in. Like, he does. Yeah. He says to me, "Keep knocking on that door, and yeah, one day right, someone's going to open it." Yeah, yeah. Right, actually, you've got to um, keep keep knocking on it. Yeah, that's literally how I started. Mm. Was I was, it? Yeah, keep kept, asking. Kept asking him, and he said, "Nah." And was, in the end, he just got bored and said, "Yeah, come <laughs> on, come for work. God's yeah. sake, shut up." There's a shovel or whatever. Yeah, there's the brush. Yeah, yeah, there's the brush. That was a bit like. Me, but yeah. So, so, so coming out of school, then you yeah. went. Do, did you go directly in with working with your old man? Yeah, I did a bit of that. Yeah, and then I did. I went off and done my own little thing for a little while when I was sort of like twenty years old. I wanted wanted to do a bit of flowers and sort of try and do my own thing. Have you know, your own little yeah company, little business. Yeah, my own little business, and I did. And it was actually a good little business for three years. It was quite successful and stuff. But then the COVID and all of that malarkey. And was that like a florist? Yeah, doing okay. florist. You had a little flower business. Yeah. And um, but yeah, I real I really missed. What was that it. like market stalls? No, I used you to like sell. Shop. Yeah, like sell. I didn't have a. I didn't rent a shop, but I used to sell online and right. yeah, do like certain types of flower arrangements like funeral flowers and stuff yeah it was busy but that was good because you could get up at five o'clock in the morning go and get all your flowers mm. be finished by 12 and then i'd ring my dad and be like i'm gonna come to the yard and do a few so you craft again with the old man yeah of course yeah proper worker proper moonlighter <laughs> yeah moonlighter. so where, where did that sort of like idea for the flat like floral stuff come from was that just something oh just something i love i love flowers yeah yeah. So, yeah have a little what, where, where's thing. the roses, mate, when she arrives? Yeah, yeah my you teeth, didn't mate. Get me any. Wouldn't put me your teeth, you'd chop them clean in half out. Yeah. How do you think roses get chopped, mate? <laughs> Come with your I'm, in a, I'm in a field like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's a Saturday job. Yeah. No, don't. Yeah. But no, that's the, that, that floristry sort of thing. Mm. So you're doing that for three years, but yeah. you was always still edging oh, towards. I was still always in the plaster, yeah, yeah of yeah. course. I just thought I'd try and be like, what, yeah, my what, own what was, the, what was the old man's view when you said, I'm going to go and. Oh, he was like, go on then, babe, go and do what you've got to do for a little Because he while. knew he, he was, knew coming, was back. coming back. Yeah, yeah of course, yeah. So, so. What, there must have been a tipping point then, the way you've gone, do you know what, I've done that, I've had three years doing it, mm. I, this is where I keep ending yeah, up Yeah, of course, back. I was always there anyway, yeah, and he was always calling me, and yeah, that's it. Mm. I know plaster, like, I do, I could literally plaster my eyes closed now, really? like, yeah. I've been doing it since, even making, like, little things, like little kids, my dad gets me making, like, the enrichments and stuff, like little flowers and things. Mm. So, yeah, it was just natural for me to one day just say, go on then, let me have a go. Yeah. Proper. And, yeah, that was it. So I always find, you know, when from the stuff that I've done, like houses in Victorian sort of houses, when we've mm. renovated them, you've got the the coving running around the top and matching that up. It's always a random, it's never never a generic pattern, is yeah, it? Yeah, it's got So you'll last for that little bit cut out. So mm. how do you go then to get in, say, a foot a foot long bit? You could bring that to me and I've probably got the mould in stock. Oh, really? Yeah, so the there one, is a certain generic yeah, stuff to it? Like 104, yeah, we work all in millimetres. So, right. yeah, we have. I've got probably about 12 different sizes of cove. Yeah. And if not, we can just run you up a little mould, it's no issue. Can people have their own, if you want a certain pattern, you can do yeah, all that, you can do the lot? Yeah, completely bespoke. Yeah, if you said to me, oh, we want a giant freeze of all lines and flowers, yeah. we say, okay, then if you've got the money, you spend it, we'll get it made in clay, mould it, and this up in the wall within. And then yeah. you keep that in stock as well, so it's yeah, your... Yeah, then that's our mm. mould, yeah. Got it. Well, mm-hmm. how, long, how long does that process take What, then? claying? It yeah. depends who your clay modeller is. We don't do clay modelling. We get 
someone else in to do it. But I mean, mm. there's some real talented people out there. You've got to give them the time. You know, you can't mm. rush them things. Yeah. Proper proper art, some and, of it. And what type of what type of customer then? Because I I'm intrigued because I've never come across anybody doing what mm. you're doing. What type of customer is 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 buying this stuff? Is it just loads of people are? Yeah, well, you got real high end customers. Mm. Like you know, spend thousands like hundreds of thousands on it if they want to mm. or we just get you know i'll sue up the road once a bit of coving it's you, lovely you had any famous <coughs> famous people yeah of course but i can't tell you <laughs> many, you've done, many. Har- you, you done harrods haven't you, you can yeah speak done of, things like that yeah. lady never tells no i don't i wouldn't <laughs> tell no we've done loads of good places yeah, yeah real 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 work yeah but my favorite work is these old like manor mm. houses and all the national trust mm. buildings that is the best and how, work how does somebody like harrods find you Oh, just like through word of mouth or whatever it is, yeah. Okay. Mm. That's intriguing. We done, yeah, we are yeah. doing some bits over there at Christmas, yeah. So you got the Harrods, who else was there that you can speak oh, about? Oh, there's Harrods. loads. We've done like all the IV restaurants, yeah. done like loads of TV work, like adverts. You, you, you know like typical sort of plumbers will drive past with their kids and they go, I worked on that <laughs> yeah, house. Yeah, yeah I, I do. My, my <laughs> yeah. girl loves it, yeah. Yeah. She, yeah. Honestly, I'm like, Tig, see that? Yeah, all the shops like Sloan Street. Done that. Yeah, she loves it though because she thinks it's very cool. What about, cool what about when you get in one that you haven't done? Oh, it's not mine. Yeah, I'm like, oh, no, look at that. That's them Brummies. That's them Brummies done that one. That's them that lot. Yeah, that's them Brummies, them lot. Those peaky blinders with it. Don't say that, I'll get trolled. We love you, Birmingham lot. Just stop cutting your canvas with a saw, please. Like a pole star. Birmingham, we love you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they got Birmingham. <laughs> no, we do. We love you, Birmingham. But yeah, no, don't say it like that. No, London, London people. We just have a little bit of finesse, don't we? Women. There you go. But you were saying earlier on as well that your old man likes you in the workshop because you've mm. got that. I hate to say it, that that feminine touch yeah, to the it. Yeah, women's touch. It is. Yeah, it's a very like. It's, I don't want to say it's not a feminine trade, but yeah. I mean, it's beautiful, like yeah. decorative work. And mm. yeah, you've really got to have a little bit of care into it. Yeah. You can't just smash a load of plaster in and things like that. You've got to, <laughs> yeah, you've got to treat it nicely, ain't you? Caress it in. I wouldn't say caress it, no. But just don't gonna, smash it in Just there. don't go <laughs> full on. Are we still <laughs> talking about <laughs> plaster? <laughs> that is so <laughs> cool. Which oh you know we're coming God, to you. Know, right. that, is, that is great for TikTok. But you don't just smash it in there. That's all I've got to do. That's all I've got to do. That's all I've got to do. I was leading in. I threw the line out there. I was going to fucking pull on the straight in. So taking it back to non caressing innuendo sort of star things oh. if somebody's listening and watching now because there's always random younger mm. people that sort of message in and go oh you know like, I'm quite interested in that how how long would it take obviously I know you've been around it your whole yeah. life but how long if somebody was coming to you 16 how long would it take them to potentially pick up what you've done learn it and then be you know oh. even going out and fitting some of these things themselves like oh I don't know I wouldn't want it it depends on the person but mm. I mean some people just cannot you just know you're not a plasterer. Brummies. Yeah. Brummies. You... <laughs> oh, no, I'm saying, no, I'm not saying <laughs> that. I'm, I'm just, I, it's only because of him with the teeth over there. That's the only reason why I've said it. But no, um, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just one of them things, really. But you don't just do the coving, you do a lot of outside stuff as well, don't yeah, you? Yeah, all the external stuff in Jesmine I, I love Jesmine I'm like their biggest fan. So is that, that's like a, for the people that don't know, including me. I'm me. Yeah, I can well, there we go. So yeah, so talk us through the difference between those two then and, and where yeah. that Jesmine stuff would be used. Yeah, so Jesmine is anything like external because it turns into like a stone, so it's like casting. Right. Mm. Yeah, so it's like a compound. You've got your, your liquid coat and then you mix it with your gel coat. Mm. And this is AC7030, it's my favourite one, so it turns it into like a stone. But you can get so many different finishes, so you can get like white marble, charcoal, like a slate, you can even make terracotta out of it, and right. it looks exactly the same. Mm. And it literally sets like stone, it's, it's, it's real good stuff. And yeah, it's all fire resistant, yeah, it's really, really good, love that. You can make anything out of that. Because that's the stuff that's on your profile, isn't it? Yeah, I'm the ambassador, yeah, yeah for Jasmine Knight. Uh, mm. But yeah, I love that. Use that with absolutely everything. I just like it because um, yeah. So if someone says they want like a nice terracotta pot made, you yeah. can copy it exactly. Mm. Looks no different. And that white marble, we do a lot of fireplaces out of that. You buff that oh, up, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's the stunning. Same, yeah. Real for nice the, stuff for the surrounds. Yeah, things okay. like yeah, we d- we sell loads of fireplaces. Yeah. And does that, that go off proper hard? Yeah, it goes off like stone. I mean, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. you need a grinder to get through right, that. It's okay. proper. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's why mm. it's really good for outside. Really What's good. it made out of? Is it is it lighter than stone? Yeah, well? it's lighter so it's than stone. Yeah, so you can cast with it and make it quite 
thin and hollow. You can work, strong, work with it. Yeah, you can still work with it. Yeah, it's like working with like a Roman cement, you know, like a nice... Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a lot more thicker than plaster, obviously. Plaster needs to be a bit more cakey, but not pissy, <laughs> as some people like to do it. That was, is that the official terminology? Mm. That'd be mine. Cakey, yeah, yeah, yeah you stop plaster, that'd be nice. pissy. Yeah, a bit fucking Brummies. sloppy. That's no, pissy, if you've got pissy plaster, it's going to totally <laughs> fuck you up. No one wants pissy plaster. <laughs> no, they don't. Oh, you get, you, then you've got no. your, yeah, you put your canvas on, it all pulls through, and then you've got a piece of tartan instead of a piece of cornice, and it's horrible. No yeah. one wants that. You know, Have you ever seen, like... Pissy plaster? No, no. bad cornice, <laughs> and like you see the canvas coming And you can't through. even make out, yeah, you can't even it's make out boss. what it is. Some people, yeah, sorry, but if you do that, you're an uh, idiot. There you go. You're sacked. Pissy, yeah, you're pissy plasterers. You're pissy plasterers. <laughs> That's for all these pissy plasterers. No, but that is where everyone gets wrong. You asking me, like, how long it takes. It takes, like, three years just to learn your plaster, know your plaster. Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, the, the, the thing is, is a lot of people, they get put off thinking, oh, I've got four mm. years to become a spark mm. or... However long it is, four years for, to become a plumber, and some people they're very short term mm. and they don't think, yeah, you know. But obviously, if it's something that's a bit more niche, mm. there might be more that yeah. you need. Oh, you've got to be well to, dedicated. Need, yeah. So many to. people like give up on it because mm. they just they just can't catch on. Is there many people doing it nationwide? Is yeah, it, there's loads. Of people there is a lot. Up. I mean, but then they'd go away quite yeah, quickly yeah. because yeah, if you've. Like, everyone that's known in this trade have been in this trade since, like, the 70s, it's a, 80s. It's a proper, like, passed-down trade, Oh, yeah, it? it's definitely passed down, yeah. You can go to college and learn it, but um, sometimes they're not taught the best. Yeah, I think that sort of trade is is you get in, you know, with someone like your old man and yourself yeah. and your brother and get into a family business doing it. They will teach you the proper, teach you everything, the proper yeah. way of doing it's it. It's always the best way as well. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Mm. No, so, I love me trade. Because yeah. the the other thing I want to touch on as well, because I noticed on your profile you do stuff with uh, Stabia yeah, as well. Yeah. So how how did that come about for you? Oh, they just that? come and approached me, yeah. They mm. asked me to be one of their true pro ladies. Obviously, I use like a spirit level now and again with the panel mouldings and things like that. Mm. But no, I like working with them guys. They're lovely over there. It's good fun. Yeah. Mm. Is it o Ollie? Yeah, we had Ollie, we had Ollie on. Ollie yeah, on, yeah we? no, I chat yeah. to Nicholas. I think he's over in Germany. Right. Yeah, he's lovely. They're, yeah, they're all real nice people. Yeah. One thing which I uh, compliment Stabila on is they're, mm. they're always pushing, like, yeah. women, women in trade. Yeah, really so good for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, good for that. Um, Rach, uh, Ginger Mason. Oh, does she work with them? Yeah, she, she works right, okay. with them. She does stuff as well. Right. I, I was intrigued by what mm. she does because, you, again, you don't come across many... No, you don't. I love people. her work. Yeah, I'm one of her fans. Love yeah. her yeah. work. Yeah, real good yeah, this, stuff. I think her podcast was one of the ones I thought was really massively interesting and it, <coughs> and it giving insight into something that you don't see a lot of. Mm. Same with yours, Mary. You don't see a lot of it, so when you get yeah. the chance to speak to someone about it, because you don't realise you can do it out, outside stuff, inside stuff, mm -hmm. and, you know, we was just saying, hey, statue mm. stuff you can do. I mean, what's what's one of the most obscure things that you can use, what you do for them? What's, like, that somebody would just go, I didn't even realise you could use it for that? Oh, I don't know. We make, like, skirting boards, do a lot of skirtings and things like that. People don't mm. think about having plaster skirting mm. boards. Obviously, we use a thicker plaster, but, like, the big columns, you know, we do, like, quite a few indoor swimming pools and they have like big half columns oh, yeah, and stuff. Oh yeah, like the fake oh. sort of so, yeah, Roman like we columns. can make like the big Roman scene out of, yeah, plaster I think I see and fiberglass. you one of them when I started following you the other day. I think I see, you, you yeah. pull one out of a mould or something. Oh yeah, do like the three piece moulds. So like, yeah, we run them so they can say we need them this size and then, yeah, you run up. And then put you, it together have you, like have a you done any of the a ASMR, like peeling it out of the mould? See, that would be mega for your content, mm, yeah, wouldn't it? Would, it? Yeah, but you just got to have the time to sit there and, do you know, I need yeah. my hands, so I'd need to get some of them glasses, I think, to do. Yeah. We'll content. just have a camera there, just on the side do of it. Do what you need to do with the camera <laughs> on your head. The... <laughs> with the Insta360. No, no, no we yeah. were chatting earlier about... Be like an um, Easter egg hunt with this. Yeah. Yeah. We were chatting earlier about doing a ghost hunt. Yeah, we've got it. And you said, we were going to do a ghost hunt, but I've got to do, who's the geezer? Francis. Francis Bonchoir, I think. Who has the camera yeah, you know, and it's just trains. a massive wide angle lens. <laughs> oh, she wants, she wants, yeah, she wants me to have yeah. that and run down a fucking corridor with a ghost chasing me going. Okay, ah. brilliant. What yeah. we call it, Mark and Mary's Most Haunted. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Eminem's Eminem Eminem Most Haunted. Haunted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah, we're going to go. We're going to do a Halloween special at Trail Legends. Yeah, Trail Legends Halloween special, Mark yeah, and Mary's go. Most Haunted. No, because if you called it Mark, it's like a mix of Mary and Mark, isn't it? What is that? You know, like uh, Brangelina. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like a power couple. They're a couple yeah. now. Power Mark couples. Oh, a power Marky. couple. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mary and Mark. Well, you want to be the new power couple? <laughs> well, you know, well, my your missus will be ghost. very angry. <laughs> 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 the ghost hunting power couple. Yeah, no, I... Yeah, me and Gary. 
<laughs> I might just it. be left behind in the dark room <laughs> crying. But no, honestly, it would be well. I reckon we'd need to do that. Yeah, it'd be quality. Yeah, it would. It would be good content. Um, what was I good? Oh, so I, d- I don't know if you want to speak about it or you can speak about it. You've done some work for TV. Yeah. You've so done quite a bit. So you've done the statues in. The gentleman. Mm-hmm. So, how did that come about? To, so, and if you tell, us, and tell us what statues, because anybody that is listening yeah. or watching will know instant, the statues. Instant. If you've seen the gentleman, the you'll know. statues. Yeah. 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 So, how? Yeah. So, yeah, so, talk us through, through how that that um, come about. Yeah, that was a job last Christmas. It come through. My dad's quite well known in the film industry, so yeah. he's been doing like film stuff since the eighties, stuff right. at Pinewood and things like that. So, yeah, they give the call for and said we need like a real specialist thing doing and we said yep send it through someone turned up with this little old statue and was like can you make that big and yeah make 27 of them yeah. and then obviously told us what what they was for and what's happening with them we thought they was all going to get smashed up right but yeah they decided to keep them because they liked them so much yeah yes yeah, so the statues i think they come in at episode five the saint mary statues that get stuffed with <laughs> I love it. They, yeah. go, they go to Europe, don't they? They go everywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's right. Yeah, the that's scenes are cutting loved. in and yeah, out. Yeah, it was they? brilliant. We, I really thought it was just going to be a couple of minutes, and then it turned out to be like it the was whole, a big part of it. Yeah, wasn't it? it was a big yeah, part yeah. of it. Yeah. But so I love, I'm, I've always been interested in tradespeople getting into the movie. I'm a massive movie fan, but tradespeople mm. getting into it, carpenters, and like you say, oh, what yeah, you so do now. You've now you've said about it. What you do, you, know, you say building columns in. But sets like when you when you watch that, like you know, have you watched it? You've yeah, yeah, I watched like, it, you, yeah, you watch that and you just don't even think no, how no. they've come about. Yeah, yeah, you, you just think like <coughs> some prop <coughs> producer's gone and bought 27 statues from somewhere. You don't yeah. think where they've come yeah, from. You probably no. think it's come off AliExpress. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But then when you mention it, I was like, of course, someone's got to have made them, but it's just yeah. dead interesting stuff like that. Mm. They but asked us to paint them and that, but we obviously couldn't do that, so they got real artists. So your old man being known. To them, mm-hmm. he gets quite a bit of work through it. Then, yeah, we still get a lot of like special, like specialist work things because mm. they have their own um, like cornice and plaster molds yeah, in yeah. there and stuff. Like they're making film sets all day long, every yeah. day. Yeah. Some of them, especially up there, Pinewood, is yeah. that quite close to you? Though? Yeah, it's just down the road. Yeah, yeah, we've got all the studios close to us. We're literally in, we're in a good little spot. We're right in like London, Surrey, with all the studios right. around us. So it is a good. And I bet when you get Surrey's good for business, anyway. Yeah, Surrey's yeah. very good for business. Yeah. And I bet when you get in that, you're in, ain't you? That's the mm. sort yeah. of lead. You once you're in, you're their go-to person. Yeah. yeah. Have you done anything mm. else for films? Any other films that we'd know? Yeah, I suppose we've done a bit of Disney stuff, like that Pan film a few years ago. But my dad's done some proper classics, like you know the uh, Borrowers film, like the proper old classic. Yeah, yeah, oh, I used to love that. Yeah, so did I. So he made like all the giant toasts and all like the giant no stuff way. for it. Yeah. He done um, Sylvester Stallone's Judge Dredd. That was like back yeah, in the nineties. Yeah. Made all the sets and all that for it. So yeah, just TV, oh, and, yeah, adverts and stuff. We get a lot for. But the next big film is the new Gladiator film. So we oh, made yeah, loads of that. that. Yeah. yeah. Ladies and gents, just a quick one to say a huge thank you to our new headline sponsor, CT One, the best sealants on the market, voted for by the British public. Not only that, it's made in Britain as well. So go and support a product and a brand that is made in the UK. But I just want to say to you, they've got a brand new product out, which is the BT1. It's a combination sealant and adhesive, like the popular CT1, but it's perfect for keeping a hygienic environment. And it's designed to completely stop the growth of bacteria, microbes, and fungus. And not only that, this stuff is strong. Now it's gonna be available at Travis Perkins, Wicks, Juicens, and pretty much everywhere else, so there's no excuse not to go and give it a go. So we're really happy to be partnering with CT1. Yeah, so people coming into it, how, how, what's the avenue in? Is there? You've got to get an apprenticeship, you've got to start somewhere. So colleges are doing, yeah. they are, they're actively pushing it now. Yeah, you can. Because you find with the old trades, stuff like that, mm. the, even like the stonemason stuff, well, even, seem, even farriers. Like, yeah, it seems to be uh, a, a, a niche mm. thing like that. They're realising now, look, we're running out of people that can do this as a yeah, trade. Yeah, of course, yeah. So, yeah, it is the apprentice route and college that's route. That's it. Mm, I think City and Guilds do it. I think that's the most well-known. But, I mean, you can jump on some courses with some people. You know, there's like a guy, Philip Yeah, he does the best. He's well good, like right. traditional, and he runs courses. You've got Keith Langton. Yeah, a load of them run courses. I'm eventually going to run a few little courses on casting. Is that what you want to do? Yeah. Is that in the pipe work? Yeah, definitely soon. Yeah, but maybe next year. We'll see how we go. Need to get a new yard in that first. But is is your old man on board with? Yeah, exactly. He's he's teaching stuff like that. 
Yeah, I sp- I'll probably won't do it in our yard because our yard's obviously like manufacturing yard. Right. I'll have to get my own little space to do it. But I've got so much interest, even from people that oh, are already good. in my trade. But they're like, how do you make your plaster so shiny? Or how do you know? They want they all want to know my secrets. But that comes at a cost, doesn't it? Of course it does. And, but, are you, so, but you're willing to pass... Mm. It, yeah, secrets, <laughs> but it's knowledge, so isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. knowledge. But I want other people, especially women. I'd love to pass on my knowledge yeah. to some of these girls. The, the, I, I think on at that time when tradespeople mm. would keep hold of those little nuggets of oh, information. Oh, my dad's like that. It's terrible. Is he? Oh, he's terrible. See, I remember when I first got into it, it was very much like that. But now I think with the social media side of stuff, people mm. are beginning to share them tips. And, yeah, of course. Yeah. You know, yeah. Because we've got to pass it on to the next generation. Mm. When I first started socials, I got absolutely hounded off the landscaping for, community. For giving hounded, away? yeah. Giving like, away they thought, secrets. literally, I was like... They probably they, hound you. You know when you do those, this is what, 16,000 yeah, pounds yeah, gets yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, <laughs> Mark, yeah, no, yeah. mate. That's yeah. what... That's what... That's what... Th- yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is, so yeah, much. so th- they come for you for that, didn't oh, they? 100%, but now it's like turned around because... They we, want to work with you. Yeah, well, it's not just that. We now get that many leads across the UK. Since Christmas, we've given nearly £2 million worth of work away yeah. for free to other landscapers. Yeah. So now they're like, mm, OK, maybe he's all right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only all right. But it is, I think a lot of the old school lot are like, don't tell them how to do that. Well, yeah. if you don't tell them, the, the trade is going to die on its ass. Yeah. You know, yeah, yes, you're, you're going to be doing yeah. the generic stuff, but you're not going to know them little... Yeah. Tweaks um, and tricks and hacks. And with landscaping as well, it's it, it, things. everything's new. So, like, someone else will bring a new product out, obviously, with your trade. It's, it's, mm. it's repetitive, isn't it, because it's been doing it for years. But porcelain's not that old. Pergolas, like, if you would say to me a couple of years ago, I'm going to have a pergola in my garden, you'd be like... I have one had a... Why? Oh, I want a pagoda. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so like, now it's become, like, an in thing, whereas you don't, they don't get taught that at college mm-hmm. or anything. It's just, like, mm. I've had to literally self-teach myself all this new stuff. Yeah. Like, we never taught anything like that in college. Yeah. I mean, one, one thing I want to ask you before we move on to Mark is, yeah. are there any other ladies doing similar to what you're doing? I don't meet any. I know a few, only mm. through the Instagram, and I mean that it's, like... Three girls. There's, well there known, there's one in there. Poland, isn't there? Yeah, she's good. Yeah, Magda, love her. Big love to Poland. Um, yeah, she's good. She works for her husband. Is it, is it a prerequisite? Everyone's going to have an M that's doing the plastic. I don't know, yeah. maybe. Magda, Mary. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. But no, yeah. <laughs> Me and Martha. I'd love to get loads of girls out there doing this job because, mm. like I said, I think it's well good trade for the women's. Obviously, yeah. you've got to be a little bit strong in that. But you need to learn how to lift the corners. That's the main thing. Is there an art to doing it, oh, is there? Oh, God, yeah. You can't just so if, it So if, I, if, if we was to go down there and go, right, Mark, you're going to mould this thing and get it out of that mould... You could guarantee the first time I pick it up, it's just going to fall yeah, to pieces. Yeah, but I'd show you how to do it. You've got to get that whop, it's called. You've got to hear that. The whop? The whop. Yes, yeah, so there's a noise. So you lift up the end and that's the air drum, gets that's in there. That's drum and bass, whop, 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 yeah, yeah. When you got that, though, you know <laughs> the air's right, actually right, back and forth. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, that's it. See, you'll love it, Mark. But once you get that little whop, <laughs> you know it's all good. Yeah, he'd love it. He'd love it. With that big fat he's got, whop, 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 the side. With his daddy, with his, no, with his daddy whop, 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 <laughs> but no, once you get that what, then you know it's letting us out. Yeah, we know it's, you're not in. You're, you're out. In, you're, you're out. out. Yeah, in and out with your whop. When we come That's down, it. when we come down, then you're we're terrible. Gonna... You are. What? <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah, having a clip bait, isn't it? It's <laughs> terrible. This is this is what it's turned into, isn't it? We're gonna have don't smash it in. What? What? Yeah, that's what I mean. That was the last time. Don't smash it in. Just stitch it together. Oh my god! Wop, wop, wop. Oh, carnage, terrible. mate. Carnage. So uh, let's move on to uh, the north. Thank you very much. That's all right. Thanks, yeah. guys. Yeah. We'll come back. Don't coming. worry. Yeah, we, don't go anywhere. We, 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 I'm we, not we, going. We will come back to you. Okay. But um, chop in whenever you want. Mark, right. Mr. Lawn Stripes and Hedges. How are we doing? Take us Very well. Take us back. Where did Six, it all begin, Mark? Sixteen. Were you academic? Did you no, want? Did you want to be a landscaper? Give I us was, your hopes yeah. and dreams. I was a classic little toe rag and yeah. uh, didn't really have, didn't really have any ambitions to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks uh, for coming, Mark. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was waiting for him to go four convictions. Yeah, no, yeah. Antisocial. I used to be. <laughs> um, yeah, I used to be a really just naughty lad, and uh, I was coming home from school one day, and my mate was. Spraying cars, and um, just randomly in the yeah, road. Yeah. So, just nick this one. So Spray green. He, he was spraying cars. And said, what are you doing? And he was like, I'm just spraying these cars. I went, can I have a go? So then I started knocking around with him, and then I'd always try and egg him to be naughty. So let's go and do something, and he'd be like dead, dead straight. And then this one time, we jumped over this farmer's field, and we 
damaged a load of crops and stuff, and we got caught. And them days, I'll say them days, like, like I'm really old, but back you, in my day, back in, day. Back in my when days. you got caught, the the police would take you to the farmer and yeah, say, like, yeah, yeah. what 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 do you want him to do? And he just said, well, he can come and fix them. So we'd have to go, me and mate Chris, and we'd fix them. And then when we'd go on a Saturday morning, there was a, a wagon that used to come in with loads of young lads on the back of it, and it looked just cool as fuck. And I thought, I want to do that. That was all the CS lads. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> and um, so I, went, I walked down and said, can, can, I, can I do it? And he was like, no, because he must have, he knew the farmer because he rented the land off right. the farm. And then every single Saturday when we was fixing the crops that we'd damaged, I'd walk down How and say... How many crops had you damaged? Yeah, a lot. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Just went one, one street through the middle of it. Well, we had, we had a quad and we ended up like... Ah, uh, the story's evolving. Yeah. Uh, basically racing through the corn. Pretty much, yeah. But yeah. we... Um, Theresa May style. Through yeah. the cornfield. Pretty Theresa much. May. Oh, yes. <laughs> Why did yeah. she do that? She, she done so many in the what, corn, She yeah. got asked what was the naughtiest thing you've ever done. She went, oh, I ran through a cornfield. and went, oh, oh yeah. Absolute, absolute lunatic. <laughs> so we're pretty much the same, though, aren't we? Oh, my God. Yeah. I wanted to do what Mark did. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to be like long stripes. <laughs> oh I made God. stripes in the, in the field. <laughs> yeah. I touched a few crops. Oh, um, but, yeah, no, I, uh, I, my, he said to me once, he said, was well, your national insurance card coming? It ended up coming, and then... I, uh, I went back and then I was on like a tenner a day or something, but it was pretty much like turfing. And then we, the way I am is I just try, if I see something and I want to do it, if someone says no, I'll just try it and do it. Mm. So like he, he, he had this digger in the yard and being like never even seen a digger in my life, I thought, I really want to go with that. I said, can I have a go? He's like, no, can you fuck? Yeah. So then <laughs> you straight in I've, it then. I've seen you Shoot in a crop for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen you on a farmer's field. And then uh, I, I literally just on a Friday night I just went and got in it and just started playing with it and then he come round and we had this bobcat and it had um, a sweep on it and I sweep the whole yard and he said who's done this I went me I went show me then so then he sw I swapped the buckets over and yeah. and then he had and within like three months he had me out on jobs like driving the bobcat driving the diggers and then I did my apprenticeship with him for two years or something and then we was doing a job in London and I said to him, what time are we going home? And he hit me, hit me over the head with a shovel. And he said, uh, we'll go home when I fucking say you go home. Couldn't get away with that now. Mm -hmm. So then I, I ended up spitting my dummy out and thought, right, that's it. I'm quitting. I'm not, never doing this again. And then went into sales. And then it was only five years ago, I lost my dad. And I, f I didn't get to see much of him because I was working. I was a salesman selling motorbikes, working 50, 60 hours a week, working every single day to get commission. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I thought, you know what, I'm... I'm going to quit my job. And I was in, in the bath watching Will, Miss, Will Smith videos, like do motivational whoa, 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 videos. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah. You was what? You was what? In the yeah, yeah. bath watching Will Smith videos? Oh. Yeah, just, and like Denzel Washington. Getting jiggy with it. No, 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 um, <laughs> well, Where you can am I? You can tell I practice that. Where am yeah, I? Yeah. This is what we do up north, love. We're up fucking north. <laughs> We're getting the bath. Listen to Will Smith CD. Will Smith in the in bath. The bath. Yeah. Love it. But then in the bath. Thought, bath. bath or oh, bath? Oh, sorry, in the bath. Bath or bath? No, it's bath. 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 Yeah, yeah. Bath. it's not bath. 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 Uh, yeah, bath. Yeah, you lot are all bath. We're bath. Bath. And grass. Castle or castle? Castle. Yeah, castle. We do castle. live, yeah, castle. by, by Windsor Castle. 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 It's castle. not castle. 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 Anyway. Castle. Anyway. Yeah. Um, sorry, Mark. So then, <laughs> so I went in the next day, and my boss at the time, who's kind of now one of my best mates, I said, I'm, I'm going to quit. And he was like, You've what? been listening to that Will Smith, mate. Yeah, he, said, he, said, he said, have you listened to that same <laughs> thing you did? And uh, yeah, he, he said, what are you doing? I said, I want to go off. Like, for years I've made, like, him is the company. I made him, like, 18 million quid in the time that I'd worked what, there. What was the company? What was that? So it was uh, Superbike Factory, it was called. So right, okay. they sell motorbikes, and I was, like, the number one salesman for years, right. literally just pushing and pushing and pushing because I wanted to try and make some of myself in a legal way and try and do everything straight and narrow and it was the only job that I'd had other than when I worked for United where if I put the hours in the money would be there at the end of the month mm. so I just kept doing it and kept doing it and then I got to the point where I thought I've give ever I've made so many people money now I want a shot at it yeah. and he said to me how much do you want your bills and I was like nothing he went don't lie to me show me and yeah I had like 
two grand on my credit card and he paid my credit card off for me when I, the day I was leaving right. and he was like my boss and and he just said if you ever need anything just let me know and I said I'm gonna um I just want to do it and he said I believe you so then when I left I had I had kind of had to prove to him that because when I left that company because me and Scott were dead close everyone said oh he's gonna fail he's gonna be back he'll be back in no time but the way I am as an individual, if someone says I'm not going to do something, then I just go out my way it. to do it, yeah. It's like every deal that I've done with Makita Snickers, that's all off the back of someone saying, oh, you won't get a, you won't get a Makita deal. Yeah. You won't get a Snickers deal. Mm. Watch me. Yeah, yeah. And then I just do whatever I can what, what, to kind What's of... that down to then? The, the, the fear of not doing what you say you're going to do? Yeah, the fear of I think failure. It's, yeah, I think it's pre pretty much that because like... I come from a pretty tough background and not having dad in my life. And yeah. growing up, I'd try and find father figures in any kind of man that I'd see that was successful because my mum was just with some deadbeat. And I'd, it was the first time I'd seen someone driving like a nice BMW and they had a Rolex on. I was like, I want that. Yeah. How do I get that? And then as a young kid from Salford, you just try and find the easy way to get it, yeah, <laughs> which yeah. is never the right way. Um, the problem with that, there's so many easy ways to get stuff yeah. in there. You know, when it's when you're surrounded by that and you can earn big money the wrong way, yeah. it's, it, it's a draw. So to step away from that and go, I want that, but I want the legal way of doing it, yeah, yeah, is that, a is a good trait. Yeah, and I, I've always felt like, like I don't, I don't believe in like God, but I've always felt like there's someone watching over Will, me. Will Smith. Will, I reckon it's Denzel. <laughs> Denzel. I reckon Denzel's. <laughs> no, I've always felt like there's an out of me that's kind of telling, that says, no, you can do this. Oh, okay. Because like I was, I, I was at a time where I was, I was, I was locked up and the guy who comes and like gives you food and stuff, he says, why are you here? Mm. And I said, what do you mean? He said, you're the only person that when you, when you come in on a Friday, you're perfect all weekend and then you, uh, you say, I'm not going to be back. And then the following week, you're back. Yeah. And it's like, why? And I went, I don't actually know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then th that's when I left and then I moved back to, that's when I lived in Warren and I moved back to Salford with, to be with my mate Danny and because he kind of lived on his, everyone moved with Salford, everyone do, as quick as they can to get out of the place. Right. Like, what can I do to get away? I'll move Warrant in, I'll move this. So then- I just want to get out. Yeah, and Danny was kind of the only one left there. And I said, I'll move back with him and then, I kind of just started my life afresh. I think that's what something I've never been afraid of is losing everything because in my head I know I'll just get it back. Good yeah, so you will gamble and risk yeah. everything to get what you want. Yeah, I think that's because I've come from nothing. Yeah. So, so Yeah, so you see you've got nothing to lose yeah. by doing it. And, and, and I'm not scared of... People say to me all the time, like, yo, you've got all these things now, like we've got so many staff, even with the social media... Are you not scared of losing it all? Or if you do, if this doesn't go your way, and we've had an incident with a brand recently, and I've just said, look, this is this is who I am. It's what it's what I do. If it's not right, it's not right. Well, let's just shake hands and walk away. Yeah. But then they talk about thinking, you walk away from this. Yeah, yeah of course. If it's not right, mm. I think you learn from from you. Well, I definitely learn from mistakes, but I think you learn from like them bumps in the road, should we mm. say? Yeah, I'm gonna go for a piece. So you can on. carry on talking. So you, um, so you, you, you seen that? You at the Bobcat stage. You clean the yard, mm. and so where has it progressed from there? Then, so at what point did you make that transition to? to it, was it where you are now? Is that off the back of that? Yeah. Or was so there was something in between. No. So I've always been into kind of landscape gardening. Okay. I've always done it through my own houses, my mates' houses. It's always been a passion. Mm. Um, and then when I left my job, I didn't want to be a landscaper because a landscape is pretty hard on your body. And I thought I had salesman hands back in the day yeah, when, yeah, I, when yeah. I started five years ago. And I thought, Fire on your fingers yeah, and everything. And I thought it's probably not not the right fit for me. So my idea was to build a land um, a garden maintenance company up okay. to ten vans yeah. and then sell it. Right. Hence the name Lawn Strats and Hedges. So I built it up. I got three vans within twelve months. Started to build the staff up and then. We just decided to one day do a um, patio for a lady and it just went bonkers. And then we uploaded a video on socials and was it? It's about 40 months ago, so it's not even that long, really. It's so is that been, how long you've been doing the social side yeah. of it then? So that's massively gone through the roof very, yeah. very fast. Yeah. So before that then, you was just, yeah, you, yeah. You, I'd say your normal landscape gardener, going to, day, going to work, doing your stuff. Yeah. 
So what made that switch into the socials then? And the, and the same for you. How long have you mm. been on the socials for? Not even two years. Because this the the one mm. the one thing that I've noticed is the people <laughs> that have really like blown up have blown up post COVID. Like I was on social mm. way before yeah. COVID. Mm. And, oh, and and I've seen the people the people after like the growth on some of the accounts mm. is just like we had Scott DIY on last week. Yeah, yeah. You know he's another one where the accounts just gone. Like yeah, Maggie. Yeah. I, like, just, I think when you put good work out there, you're going to get the followers, isn't mm. there? Is there a specific video for yours that went? Yeah, the one of you, me flipping out the giant bit of cornice that did. I think it's whopping got, it out. Whop, no, I, I did. I had to flip it because it was so big. I can't wait for you to whop. And then oh, you so know, mom, you and then, love a what? We then, pay some Cardi B for you, proper. <laughs> Twenty <laughs> days a week, certified freak. <laughs> <laughs> Mark will be what? Put a whop in around my yard. I, oh, I cannot wait. Yeah, to literally. see you whop, mate. Gonna fucking break the internet. What, what are you gonna do if you get like a million views on yeah. your whop? Start I've whopping. Only, um, Twenty million views on that video now. So, <laughs> wait, yeah, did I sure. go out whopping? You were what? Oh. No, but to be honest, what I weren't whopping that. Mark's going to hook me up with his team after we've whopped. Oh yeah. Yeah. What till you drop, mate? Yeah. So that was the one, the one that, that flew for you. Yeah, I had good followers anyway, but yeah. when I that put that video one. up, yeah, it literally was like everyone in my town as well. It weren't just right. it was like going up the shop and everyone was like plastering go off the internet. Mm -hmm. It hit me town. I didn't like that because before it never done that before. Right. But that video, yeah, it got where I lived and it was a bit like oh god. Absolutely. Yeah, I know. Oh, did I, you get one, Mark? There's yeah, one I, never, specific one. I never actually planned to do it. So the, the, my mate who I moved to Salford for, Danny, he killed himself, and I was my head was gone. Really? So then I was just sat at home one day trying to kind of do were you, something. Were you two living with each other as well at least? No, no. So he, D D Danny, um, was forty years old. It's a mad story. So forty years old, never had a bit of sniff, but never mm. took anything. Um, mad. He was at a party six o'clock in the morning. Someone give him some, and then That's literally fun. within four weeks, he'd <sighs> lost everything. Shit. Four, and it, it was a, it was about over an eight month period. Like he'd he'd be ringing me asking for twenty quid, and then I said, Danny, I'll give, what what do you want twenty quid for? And because Danny was like growing up, he was like the man. Like. Mm. It's going to sound mad, this, but I didn't know you could actually own a home. I thought everyone lived in a council house. And then when Danny bought a house, I was like, "Do you mean you fucking bought a house?" He's like, mm -hmm. I "Bought an house." So what did what did Danny do? He was a he was a truck mechanic. Right. Okay. So he was a truck mechanic, and he Head was screwed on grafter. A, a grafter, yeah, literally. Oh, sad. He um, he <laughs> went to a brass house, and yeah. fell in love with some bird. And I was like, what, Danny, yeah. what what the fuck? Like, yeah. you, I've known you all my life. Like, mm. where has this come from? It was like a bit of a midlife crisis. And it was her that got him kind of right, okay. hooked on it. And then um, he got better. And then he messaged me saying, um, when I bought, got my company, I set it up and he said, get Mercedes vans, because he was a Mercedes truck mechanic. So he looked after all of it. And I, I bought one and I said, I'm going to drive it to you because it's not quite right. And I bought it and he didn't look right. And I said, what the fuck, what's up with you? Like he was my best mate. So mm. I was like, can I, you've lost weight. Like, and he was like, no, nah, no, nah, nothing, nothing. So then I rang Chris's brother and said, what's up with Danny? And then he told me, but he told me on the way, when I was on the way back to Macclesfield, turned the van back round, went mm. in, I went mad at him. I said, what the, f you fucking had everything. Yeah. You was the man. Like he was the first one to buy a car, yeah. first one to buy a GT bike. Like. Me and all the younger generation on the estate followed his Looked lead. Up to yeah, him, yeah, in a way. Yeah, literally, we all copied him. Got our first Nova. <laughs> uh, I didn't buy an house because I couldn't afford one. <laughs> but like, it, we was like the main guy. So then, when it happened, it, his dad rang me and said, I, "You need to come to the hospital. It's Danny." And I walked in, and there was loads of people in the ho in the hospital. And I was like, "I don't know fucking one of these. Like, who are these people?" So then Ted said, "Go and see him." And I walked in, and he was like. He had some weird hair thing, like he changed his hair, like he was just a, in all the tubes and all this. And, the, and then he said, "Look, he's he's not going to make it." Uh, and I was like, "Fucking hell!" Like, and the, what was that? A, a short period. Oh of yeah, time? A short period. Yeah, over a, a, an eight month period in total, <laughs> because he'd cleaned himself and then come off it. And I said, "Come and live in Mac with me," because I'd moved away from everything. You wanted to I, take him yeah, away. Yeah, I said, him. "Come." And then Chris was saying, "Mark, he won't. He'll just leave." So then it was a console battle, like, what do you do? Like, and then for ages after it, because he'd messaged me saying, uh, I miss you, bro, let, let's hook up. And 
because I was that busy with work, mm. I didn't message him back and it, it do, ate do, me alive. Does that still... Yeah. Do you think that is why you're um, that driven with stuff? Oh, oh, yeah, kind of. Now it is, yeah, because like... But, like, I don't drink now because if I drink too much, I'll just fucking burst into tears. Like, anyone can say something to me, I'll be like, fucking missing. Right. So, like, it's it's tough when when I've had a drink. So now I try not to drink at not, all because right. it... It brings that yeah, up. Yeah, and, and it's been, like, like, two years now since he's done it. But it, it, even now, like, I think it's because I'm so angry at him because it's like, mm. mate, you were the fucking man. And then, obviously, his brothers, we all looked up to him. So, and he was young, 41. And it, from 40, he was, had a mint lad. I mean, he was yeah. a lad from Salford, so he had his quirks. But he, he went from that to, like, massively downhill. So, like, now I'm just, like, I'm just going to give it everything. N that's why now I don't get into arguments and online hate and stuff, because I just think, the, it's, I mean, we get a lot of it now because of kind of what, no. how many followers yeah, we've got. Yeah. Leads into the... yeah. Well, th th that is the reason why we set up the GoFundMe. So mm. in honour of Danny, so we wanted to give something back to the community. We raised, in total it was 16 grand and then GoFundMe take their percentage off. So it's like 15 grand. And then we just picked like a random winner to kind of go and do someone's garden. But it ended up not going ahead because the lady's ambitions far outseeded what budget we kind of had. And it just become too much so we ended up doing a deal now where she's kind of got she's got the money now so yes so to, to, to just give an overview of that so Danny obviously passed away mm. so you set a go from me up in honour of him got a load of money in yeah and then so talk us through that that process for someone that doesn't know the ins and outs of what happened there then yeah so we I, I just thought of I did this little giveaway on my TikTok where I said you know what I'm just going to give 500 quid away to someone that needs it this weekend because it was like so like the most depressing day of the year or something. So I said, I've started to earn a bit of money on TikTok now. So if anyone needs 500 quid, let us know in the comments. The person with the most like comment, I'll just transfer you 500 quid. Yeah. And um, that went kind of, not like viral, but it did like uh, 500,000 views. And is this the one that sort of started you off? That's what got the idea. Right, yeah, okay, because okay. Well, after that, um, after that, the, the kind of pain of Danny wasn't going away. So yeah. I, I spoke to Chris and says, I'm thinking of doing something in honour of Danny. Um, do you think it's all right? And he was like, yeah, that would make him proud. So we just said, look, in honour of him, we're going to landscape someone's garden that really okay. needs the garden doing. So that's kind of where the idea comes So they from. go for me, you went, right, we're going to set a go for me, whatever that goes into that, yeah. 16 grand, take their cut off. 50, so you had 15 grand yeah. to do someone's garden yeah. um, in honour of Danny. Yeah. So was that put out as a competition then? Yeah, kind of a competition. You legally can't do a competition through GoFundMe. Yeah. So we just said we'd pick whoever kind of donated. We'll just pick a random person um, and we'll go and kind of landscape their garden. And the lady that we picked, um, and I, I, I guess if, you know, you see someone online and you think they're going to do something, you get a bit carried away and you think, do you know what, yeah, I want this and I want that, but it just become the, what we want, what the budget we had it was just like, it needed 50 grand in the garden. Right. And we okay. Oh, and that, she yeah. was saying, I want this, a waterfall here or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Massive expectations. But it's more the retaining, yeah. Mary statues. Yeah, I want 20, yeah, yeah. 20, 20, really 20 going for it, oh, okay, would she? <laughs> 27, <laughs> 27 <laughs> Mary yeah. statues all around there. Yeah. 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 Doing just, adjustment on it, it's fine. Just give us an overview, because it's it's led into it quite well. It's obviously... You know, you then from this scenario and, yeah. and trying to do something good ended up in a scenario with hate, yeah, hate. more so drama, death, more drama, death yeah. threats, and all the rest of it. So just just take us now into like how that went from. Yeah, it wasn't a very nice time to go through because the when you start to kind of grow on social media, you get all kinds of messages off people, brand deals you know companies tv people and you don't know what to do so the safest thing is to do well i'm going to get a manager or get an agent so i've got i got an agent when i i only had like a, i'd say one hundred and fifty thousand followers when i got him so then when we start building up everything becomes unmanageable so then you take on a, a like a i took a social media manager on then I, now i've got a pr manager then i've got a manager then i've got someone to answer comments i've got a two videographers, an editor. So now it's become like a beast. So when that happened, 
the first thing I have to do is think, I've got to protect my castle. I've got to speak to someone. And they just said, do not say anything until you've finished speaking. Right, okay. Or you've, yeah. Till, till you've fully satisfied that lady's needs and wants. So then... I've got to sit there and say absolutely You're nothing. You're biting your tongue. Yeah. You wanna, people are coming at you left, right and centre. Yeah. Oh, that's horrible, isn't and it? And the way I am as a person, if you've got something to say, just ring me and we'll have a chat. Mm-hmm. Like, a lot of the, my people that have... Yeah, is that what you're like? No, I don't, I don't ring. I just ring and you're going to get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's what, pre-Danny. Yeah. I've got small, right. I've got small yeah. men syndrome. I yeah, just, yeah, pre-Danny, that's what I was like. So one of the lads that knew me from the old days was messaging on these people saying, if you knew him... You wouldn't. This wouldn't be. He's look. He's yeah. But he, giving it for you. Yeah, but he didn't know like the new. I say the reformed yeah. me. You've been advised yeah. to not say nothing. He's going. Yeah, you know, yeah. Go smash sure. it. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But I've just said, look, since Danny, I'm like, it, it's not. It's literally not worth the kind of stress. But when my whole team's getting the messages and threats, and I was meant to be on this podcast and I couldn't come because yeah. someone said they were going to come and smash all the vans up and you know burn my house down, and it's like. It was really yeah. intense. Oh, it was properly. Yeah, there was a couple of days period where it was like really bad. And and the thing is, like, what annoyed what annoyed me more than anything is the, the people were saying he's used his mate's death to kind of m- make this money. Like, it's the 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 lies were so barbaric. It was like. What, I didn't even know what to believe myself. I was like, well, have I stole the money? Like, yeah, you start yeah, you, thinking, am, yeah. I, am I a bad person? Yeah, you, and, the, yeah. The, the premise around it isn't, is it? Yeah. You're advised by certain people to not say anything. That must have been... Oh, I, I, it was I would, the toughest thing yeah. ever because I just wanted to like do a video every day because yeah. they, everyone was doing videos every day about it. And I was like, but I am so glad now that I listened to my agent because now it's blown over and everything that I've said is true. So like, now it's like, it's turned the other way a little Have bit. Have you had people go, mate, Mark, really sorry. I, th- yeah, I thought yeah. this, this and this. Uh, do you know what? I, I had a creator message me with like, he's got like 5 million followers on TikTok and loads of people are tagging him in it. And he messaged me saying, fair play, you've gone through that, mate. That's like, they were making wanted posters about me. They were making, it was it was horrendous. They got the good side of you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do yeah. you know what though? Do you know what I did like? You do like, gosh, I hadn't done before. Yeah, no. they, they got the uh, they used the picture <laughs> with my play button in it. So oh, did they? Yeah, so weren't too bothered. I was like, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there was, um, yeah, it's 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 not a nice thing to go through. Like it was it was horrible for my missus because she deals with all the inboxing and comments and like She's she was it first she was She's ill. It all. Yeah, she mm. lost like three stone. Um, she was being sick every day. Like she was bad. And that we, now we're coming out the side of it, my agent said, because now we're in, you know, we've got some things to announce, which I can't announce yet, but we've, we're in talk with some things that is life changing. Mm. And when we sent them all the proof, because we have to document everything, when we sent them that, like, why are you even talking about this? And like, what do you mean? This was like the worst thing in my entire life. And they're like, it's not even worth speaking about. Like, mm. you've got all the evidence, all the emails, like, it's, it's, it's literally not worth the conversation. But when you're going through that, mm, you yeah. literally think it is the worst thing in the world. I went, I ended up going to see my doctor um, because, you know, when you're like, it's like nerves, I was shaking. It was like an, a, a constant panic attack. I said, this, I just don't know what's up with me. Like, I can't sleep. And he ended up just like giving me a B12 injection, just to, like a sleep placebo, placebo thing where it just makes you think you'd better. And ah, right. he spoke to me for like two hours and he was like, you, he's like a celebrity doctor so he does all the housewives of Cheshire and he was like this is you've actually bored me talking about it and because he was like it's not you've tried to do a good thing you've raised this money she's still getting the money she's still getting a garden done it's just not you doing it oh so she's still got a garden so yeah, she yeah. should be happy then shouldn't she yeah yeah. Did she get what she what wanted? I've, I pulled away from it now. Yeah, I've just said, think, yeah. I've she just said, get She didn't get them flipping Marys in the middle. <laughs> no, she never. She's I didn't 20, get no phone calls. She's ordered 27 <laughs> Marys from someone else. Oh, she said. well, she wouldn't be able to find them. Not, gen- not genuine Marys. Not yeah. genuine, Frank no. Mary. At any point with all of that going on, did, did you think of just pulling the plug on the socials? Yeah, not, not, going, it's not, not worth. through this. I, I nearly quit when. Um, when Danny died, when I was, because uh, we was we had like 12,000 followers on Instagram yeah. and I was going to quit everything. I was going to go back to my sales job and I rang Scott and Scott said, um, 
he said, do us a favour, don't quit today, quit tomorrow. And, I, mm -hmm. and then when, he, when I woke up in the morning, he said, remember, don't quit today, quit tomorrow. And then I, I realised what he was saying yeah, and he yeah. said it will get better. And, in, and it did get better, but it's one thing people think with the social media, they think because you've got a lot of followers, they think that either you think you're something or, or they think that there's some, oh, he's got all these followers. It doesn't actually mean nothing. Like, mm. it's lovely when people come up to you and say, like, I did the Juicings Live, and that was the first time I probably felt like it was changing a little bit because I just got stopped on the train twice, getting off the train. Like, it was like, as soon as someone see me, it was like, I love your videos. Yeah, yeah. That's what I enjoy about it. Like, it's not about, there's no pedestal that anyone's on. Like, we're tradespeople, legends. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we're tradespeople that do a job that, people now find interesting. Yeah. So mm. it's now put me in a position where we're in talks with TV, we're in talks with Netflix, like there's, there's some big things coming and it's like, all I do is landscape gardens. Yeah, so, yeah. but it's... Do you know what you should do though now? You should get like a little piece from Mary that goes in every single garden that you do now. Like oh, yeah, like, yeah. Your, like, your so signature, like your signature move. Oh, about a Mary. Yes. Mini Mary. Yeah, yeah. Mini Mary. Yes. Mini ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mini Mary. Mary. For, tw for 20 bags. <laughs> 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 yes. You get an eight in there, Mini Mary. Oh, don't, you guys. Say yeah. no to drugs. Yeah, definitely. Say drugs no. are for mugs. Drugs yeah, yeah. are for mugs. Yeah. I nice. just did a... Um, do you know, uh, if you don't believe me, yeah, she dead. Do you know the Eminem song? Mm. So mm. I've just done that. And then uh, Makita said, do you think that's uh, really professional to have on your channel? I went, uh, yeah. And then I realised what it says for it. I was yeah. like, probably not. I, I never get this, though, with the brand where you when try to... scrutinising stuff. You, you, you go to a creator because they create. Mm. Yeah. And never understand. Unless it's something where it's literally like homophobic, racist or whatever. Just leave them to yeah. do Yeah. The choice in music. I, yeah. I get yeah, it yeah. from. I get it from like. I try to see everything from both sides, but yeah. then because when someone says to me, I, "I don't like this part of your video," I go, Bruh, "Like, yeah, yeah. what do you mean? <laughs> I'm the creator." Yeah. But yeah. then it's it, you, you when you look at it from like a, a brand's point of view, everyone's everyone's got different morals, aren't they? So like, mm. Makita's morals will be different to. Uh, and, it, and it's a corporate yeah. view instead of a tradesman's view. Exactly. Yeah. Fine. He's just said Unilight's got no money. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Moralless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you wasting time? I think that some of you probably are, and I have a solution for you. Nobody wants to do any type of admin. Now, I have a solution for you, and it is called Tradeify. It's a fully automated job scheduling, invoicing, and quoting all in one place. Now that software is going to save you 12 hours a week and all by using a simple software solution. Now you can try it for two weeks, absolutely free, no cards needed, and you'll even get support in person from Tradeify themselves. Now when you're done, you can always come back to me and thank me, but just enjoy the extra 12 hours that you're going to gain from just using the software. One thing I will say with the, with the, with the music and stuff, now you go through periods with social media of Doing what you think's right. Do you, you start off on being so doing social media in an honest way, just yeah. putting your videos on there because you like making content. Then when you people start getting involved, things direct you and like you end up making content that's not you. But you don't really like. I get yeah. that a little yeah. bit. Yeah. yeah. So now I've just gone back to saying, fuck it. Yeah. Like the what, the reason that now I just think, do you know what? Fuck it because. I, I am who I am, and if I, tr I, I like Eminem music, yeah. like I like Adele, like I've got yeah, such yeah. a wide, I, I'm not into opera, but <laughs> I, mean, I listen to so much stuff and it's just what I like. Yeah, so yeah. like, when, sometimes I'll put music on and people are like, oh, I love that tune. Like I, I used to listen to Blink-182, so I started using loads yeah, of Blink-182, yeah. but yeah, if, you can't, you've just got to enjoy it. I, I've done it, I've put videos out and I've put a song I want to put on it, and then I've gone, oh, people might take that the wrong way. Yeah, yeah. And I, I've, I've took it off and put something else on. But originally, I wanted to put that on. No one, so you're right, no just one, put... Just do what you want no to do. No one minds your Barry White, mate. Yeah, no one minds your Barry White. Is that what you like? Little Barry White. So I've got seven people on my social media team, right. and I have to... You can lend one to Al. You need one. one. You need one, don't you? Yeah. I need a few. It's hard to get really good good people. So what I've done is I've just found other creators and said, I'll pay you... Yeah. How much you get a year, and I'll I'll pay you that because it's better to have someone a creator who knows a little bit about what you do than a, someone that's studied in that role. Because 
for me, I'm very particular in how I want stuff filmed. Like I've, I've had cameramen with me and I'm like, what, what are you filming there, mate? And he's like, camera's over there. Your, then... your glutes. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not that kind of video. Yeah, yeah. Where did you say you filmed again? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I'm quite particular. So when I get creators, normally creators kind of um, understand it a little bit. Like Jack, who I've got now, is an absolute wizard at editing. Like, and he's never done editing like that before. We've got, got, a, we've got a Jack yeah. as well. We've got our own Jack. He, no, there's a Jack's at Makita as well as an editor at Makita called Jack. Yeah. Oh, he's everywhere, this guy. It's just me. Jack of all <laughs> trades. <laughs> yeah, it's just you. You never. Are you my Jack? You can't yeah. see the lights are on. No, he's my Jack. Yeah. Jack. <laughs> he just goes off into the water. <laughs> oh, don't! Oh, bless him. But he uh, he'd never used Premiere Pro. He'd never used a camera. But I just said, look, I'll just just sit there and learn it, and I'll pay you to learn it. So he was for weeks getting paid a normal day rate just to learn how to use Premiere Pro. Now he's yeah. fucking a wizard. Paid off. Paid yeah. Off. So we we got the YouTube video up last night and an hour to go and it was nowhere near ready and he was like yeah, yeah. it was like some out of a film I was like I think you need a pay rise I didn't say that out loud oh shit if he watches it. pay rise coming yeah, yeah, yeah. You go, you go boy yeah, yeah. yeah but he's um, yeah he's, he's mega and, and now it's to the point where we can't be in my bedroom anymore we need to um, we need to get a proper studio so we've yeah. gone to have a look at a studio so when you start to build that up you think maybe I can't swear, maybe I can't do this, because then brands, the reason Makita approached me and Snickers, because I don't... Some brands do any... are very corporate. Though. Yeah, very corporate. Mm. But sometimes they like someone like that because they know it's not going to kick back at them. Mm. Um, but, yeah, you just try and keep it as blase, like blase as possible. That's the way I've done it the whole kind of 14 months or however long I've done it. Just... I, see, I keep forgetting it's just, just been 14 months. Yeah, we're just about to hit 2 million as well. That's That's a... It's a crazy yeah. speed. The speed yeah. it's grown is. But the question, is, is the fast. question everybody wants to know is, can you whop? Mm. Uh, I've got a pretty good whop. Yeah. You can come and whop yeah. down he's, the yard. He's going to whop it out. <laughs> <laughs> I do not want to whop it in your life. Stop with sorry, me. Sorry, what Makita. Is that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this You're video is not sponsored by Makita. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so where's your out then, Mark? Are you? TV for me, mate. Is that the out? Hundred percent. Yeah, would, yeah. Would that be the out if it, if it ever come along or however? Yeah. Well, it's, things it's are out. out. Yeah. The, th the thing is, the reason I want to get into TV is because, and it sounds really sad, but when I used to go and watch Ground Force with my nana, when oh, Ground Force was when when it was over, we used to go in the garden and do stuff together. Right. And my happiest memories with my nana was watching Ground Force and going and doing something in the garden. Nice. So to be able to do that, I know it's dead corny, but to be able oh, to like nice. inspire some young lad mm. to do it because all kids what I know now when they see me how much do you earn from yeah, social media yeah. like how how have you grown it so rather quick than, yeah, rather than rather than like, wanting to know the job yeah like, and I've had lads come on and I say <laughs> I'll take you on on the social media team and it's just yeah they just they, 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 there's no they think there's a quick fix because we've done two million followers in such a short time mm. but they've not seen the hours that's gone into that two million like before I took a team in, I was sat in a meeting with Makita with eight people in front of me and I was on my own and they went through talking about introducing what they do and when yeah. it come through to, went round to me, I said, I pretty much do all them <laughs> roles in yeah, me yeah. and um, Bruce, who's like, I think he's like the managing director of, of marketing, he said, um, you need to get more staff or you're going to burn yourself out and then I went on holiday and whenever I go on holiday, uh, ovens this year I normally just think about what I can do and then when I was on holiday some guy from Canada recognised me he's like you're that Alec Mower guy aren't you because I've done loads of Alec Mowers and I went yeah yeah and he says oh, I'll follow you and then that kind of inspired me to think do you know what I'm gonna when I get home I'm gonna go at it so then I literally finished work at five edited a video got it up replied to comments till I went to sleep woke up in the morning replied to any comments that I was, it was just me and then I kept my in my missus to leave work, said, you need to quit, you need to quit. She was like, she's very stable. So she was like, I'm not quitting my full-time job. What job did she do? So she saw life insurance. Right, okay. So she was like, no, no, I'm not doing it. And then she seen that we was earning money. And what does she do now for you? Everything. Does she? <laughs> yeah, she literally is like my rock now. She's like, right. she, she deals with comments. Like, we tried to take a member of staff on to deal with comments, but she's very particular because, yeah. again, it's her castle. Well, you, so You can get in trouble for saying yeah. the wrong comment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. But she, 
Well, I do, so she, she, I'm not allowed to touch comments now. So I, the only thing yeah. I'm allowed to touch is... That sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, yeah. that is. Because with the business, is when somebody says your product shit. Oh, yeah. Like, if you saw the like level that, of that. work that goes into that, and then I'm like, just for you to do your mm. 10 second, that shit. Yeah. <laughs> It's, yeah. it's, 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 it, it boils your piss, doesn't it? Oh, I know it really gets to you, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it gets Basically. it gets to me, and, and I and I answer back, and yeah. I forget when you get when you, when someone gets you off guard, it's like, and it gets you up, it gets yeah. the lad in you out. So now I just let her deal with it, and then I, the only app inbox I'm allowed is is it the priorities in Instagram? Mm, right. That's the only one I'm allowed. So it goes into a question, and she'll filter it out kind of to me. That's where um, I go. When yeah. I message her, she's like, oh, yeah, it's him again. Yeah, yeah, filter in through. Big L. She'll she'll dip into mine as well. Like she won't just leave me to it. Like because like we've we get a lot of celebrities messages now. So she'll check to see I've not promised the world. So she'll be like, ah, hang on, you can't do that. I'm like. Do you know who that is? It's twice if you can cut his own grass, man. Yeah, yeah, but she'll just like, I don't give a shit who it is. Yeah, yeah. Not she's grounded. Mary, you've got you Yeah, know, yeah. She's do, she's oh, doing, she'd, yeah, she'd be she's, like, yeah, she's so. doing the mini Marys. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, she'd do So, it. how hands on are you with actual work? Work now? Yeah, so it's, it's, it's still pretty much me and Aaron that works with me. Um, I used to, I got a lad in to kind of help me, but I am quite particular. So, like, I w now what would normally take a week's probably taken me three weeks because of filming, but yeah. it's not just filming now because we've got something on the go with TV. Yeah. I'm in meetings all the time, and That's it's right, like, yeah. and it and it's just like, um, can you have a meeting tomorrow at two? Not really, no. But it's very important. So, and then you'll sit yeah. in a meeting for an hour, and it's like, I don't actually need to be in this. Yeah. But so, but I'm just hoping that that it pays off because once we get the TV. Or once you say once it goes live, then hopefully we'll get offered a show with a kind of a nice amount because with the socials as well, they know we earn quite a bit of money from socials. So if for them to take me away from that, it's got to be worth it. Otherwise, yeah, what's yeah. what's the point? Yeah. Yeah. Because although my dream is one day having the Ground Force TV show, um, I know I've got a step through stepping stones. Me being naive, when I had a meeting with the BBC, I went. You don't give me that show. Not interested. Fucking <laughs> when in we yeah, demands. Yeah. I've got a million followers, yeah, and yeah. then we're like, mm, we don't care. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we just think there's something in you. So I, I know there's a, a. It's like starting again with TV because you're a nobody in the TV world. Yeah. But what I did like, I did the Kelvin Fletcher's farm. Mm. And, oh, did you? Yeah, and in in season two, and in season two when he put something on his kind of post. I got more comments on there. People saying, oh my God, that's Lost Stripes and Edges. Right. More than kind of he got. So that was like a nice thing to show that social media is a it powerful works. thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's where I think with what you do, mm. the exposure that that can have could be massive. It's a, it's yeah. a niche thing. You know, you, you allow cameras or, you know, put more can, content out on those time, time restraints. Mm. But I think there's a massive avenue for that to go yeah, down. Yeah, definitely. For my work, not, loads of people don't even give a thought into, like, decorative plus work. They just sort of see it and think it's already always been yeah. there. Do you know? Yeah. They don't it's know, fascinating. Like, you could be so big. Yeah, like, yeah I, you do, I need so to push big. it out a little bit more. I do really need you to... You mentioned um, plastering and people just think it's... Yeah, like, yeah. up the wall, skimming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but oh, do you remember, so much more to that. Sorry to interrupt you. Do you remember that programme? Was it How Stuff's Made? Mm. That's literally what yeah, we do so on Yeah, so many people have said yeah. that to yeah. me, like, you should get on a programme like that and do YouTube. But, yeah, it's just finding the time for it, isn't it, you know? Uh, yeah, I think... Well, in between that and ghost hunting. Yeah. Oh. So if there, was a, if there was a trade that... Obviously, you know what. What other trade? Well, if you could do another job, would it be trade based or would it be something completely different? No, I'd be in the trades definitely. What would you be doing? I, I like, like I said, like farrier, love like horses stuff. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Who's, who's another account then that you really like? The Ginger work? Masons. Right. She's the one. Yeah, I real like Rachel's work. Big at Rach. Yeah, yeah big at Rach. Rach gal. What yeah, about I you, like Matt? If you weren't doing what you was doing, I'd be in. Uh, I'd probably do like. Um, I'd work in like a bird of prey sanctuary. Me, I know that's probably wow. blowing your mind, okay. isn't it? Yeah. I'm, oh, I'd like that. All the yeah. kites and that. I love a little. Whale. I'm obsessed oh, with you know, like, animals. Oh, you, you went to Jody Marsh place, didn't you? Yeah. Everyone's going yeah. there lately. What's yeah, going we're on? Going Fritz Fritz You've got to go and do a podcast mean? there. Absolutely no um. comment. <laughs> <laughs> no. I can I can not, neither confirm yeah, or yeah. deny. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so yeah, and yeah, uh, you do birds of prey. Birds of prey, yeah, and then. Um, and what's yeah. a, what's, what account, are you, what 
account are you following that he's like, get on this? Hmm. I, I or, like or, to f- or one account where you actually like, you love, you just love the content. Like you can just. Yeah. You oh, can I have just, got another you know, one I want to mention. So. Yeah. So uh, do you know NDL? Go on, let him go. I'm obsessed with him. What? He's, Who? he's a he's a um, he's a YouTuber. Right. So he's called Nico, and I started. So obviously now we're doing long form YouTube. I'm looking at like good edits and stuff, and um, he just he just did this thing where he went to Thailand, and I was like. Fuck. This is min. He's, he's not, doing what? what? What's he doing? He just do, does mad, random things like is how far can you get to, in Thailand in one day? Oh, right. But his editing is like I was I was watching it thinking he's not editing this, and it's just him and his mate on a laptop, and you think he'll know how like editing time. Like if he's had a day's footage filming. Is that going to be? Twenty euros. Oh no, he's not coming, is he? Who? <laughs> hey. Could be. Who? Who else would it be? Can't be anyone. Can't, it's got to be. Who is it? Fucking shut that door. It might be a... Uh, shut the door. Yeah, shut the door. Who is it? Can you quickly um, come in? It, it a be. local plumber might not be. Yeah. I don't know who else it would be. Cut that out. If it's not in, cut what, it out. What, does he just pull up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. He interrupted the, yeah. uh, the women's yeah. one few weeks yeah. ago. He just oh, well, he better not interrupt me because he uh, get told. He's full on. Yeah. Well, I'm blessing. Um, but yeah, no. Sorry, uh, Mark. Yeah. What's, what's sorry, he, Mark. NDL. So he does like he's, he's just his editing stuff that I watched, and then he just like when you watch it and think some because obviously you create content. Yeah. When you watch someone and you think that's a great edit. That's that's seamless. That's yeah. TV shit. Like how's he done that? So the, him at the minute, like I'm just obsessed with like watching his kind of edits. But because uh, we're in like a bit of like a, an Avengers group, aren't we? With me, the Home Improvement Channel, yeah, Scott yeah, DIY, yeah. Ryan Davis, like. There's a good group of us. The who, Avengers. Yeah, yeah we, that's yeah. what Brad calls us. So you're calling yourselves. Yeah, is yeah, it? yeah. Oh, it's the Avengers of, of, off Wish. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. I was going to say Sheen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But he, mm. um, yeah, so we, we obviously do a lot together, but I, I try not to. We, if you kind of watch too much of your mate stuff, you end up copying them with the yeah. content. So for me, I, mm. I, I've I deleted so many people, and now I just follow people that I that inspire me like Matt Armstrong yeah yeah so yeah. We're, we're talking with him at the minute to do something so yeah he's got he, a new place mate. yeah he's um I like I like content like your stuff where you watch it and you think I'm gonna have to watch this now till the end to see what kind of it is but then I also like the personal view of someone telling you a story like I've just smashed right Marcus Rashford's car at, yeah and then you think oh, I'm watching that yeah. so then I just look I soak that up so like the whole social media no one's taught me that I just literally YouTube it how to make a video how to edit how to do this so I just soak it all up like we get so many messages and Tino say oh um so one guy got angry because we say why we how we wouldn't tell him he's the hack to grow on social media and he's like Max hours on his phone is like mm. hours and hours like it's like nine ten hours a day that I'm oh, on my phone that. but that's all just <laughs> watching stuff like watching that's, that's how what mine was it. like at one yeah. point yeah mm, it becomes so obsessive yeah. yeah it becomes obsessive but then now like when you hand stuff you when Jack first started he was my social media manager he starts like right can I have the logins for everything and I went ah about that because uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to hand anything yeah. over to him because it's like I, I've i grown this from nothing yeah. like, it's yours isn't it yeah mm. it, but so now it's like it, it, I ain't got no choice because it, it'll just it drives you crazy especially because with, with with the TV stuff as well it's it is too much like you you can't do everything there. no yeah. with, with social media you remember do us, a, do us a brand deal on this on this thing yes yeah, sweet I'll do it for you tomorrow done that's it with TV 10 meetings to do a show we have a whole script everything's done and dusted then it's been pulled and it's like we're going to do this concept now yeah. it's like what what about the fucking weekend I've just spent ignoring all my family to write these yeah. scripts so yeah I just hope that my in my head it's right what I'm doing because I think with TV although people think it's dead if someone walks near now like Alan Titchmarsh yeah. you'd be like Fucking hell, that's Alan Titchmarsh. Who did we see that show? Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Is that yeah. Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen? <laughs> but, Fuck yeah. 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 You're like, he had the cravat. off the TV, isn't he? <laughs> he had the big cravat thing on, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, oh my God. Home. Still <laughs> dressed in full regalia. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's terrible. Mincing round. <laughs> but I, I do think still people have that, like, esteem with TV. Because, like, when I did the Kelvin Fletcher thing, I couldn't even go in a garden centre without people going, geez, yo, I've just seen you on that show. I think because social media is you, you're on it and you're swiping, you're swiping, you're swiping, you're swiping. 
it, mm. I don't think it soaks in the same as if you sit down watching a programme or a TV. Because when you sit there and watch The Gentleman, you're watching everything on it, yeah, like yeah. the statues mm. and all that. Whereas with social media, you're just thinking... I think that's oh, short form. In, yeah, yeah, I think yeah, that's like, short form content. So obviously I'll do long form with my YouTube because you can tell a story. Mm. Whereas the short form, I find it, you literally, yeah, you're not yeah. digesting. It's, mine, it's, it's three like, seconds, yeah. and it's three numbing. seconds, or it's gone. Whereas mm. I, I watch, you know, Matt Armstrong stuff. You're invested in it. You're yeah. in that for 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and you're waiting for the next episode to come out. Whereas your short form TikTok is throwaway. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it's like it's, throwaway, like yeah. you're saying. It yeah. literally just once you're off it, you're not, you're not yeah, going back. It's, it's like a vape yeah. in it, it's like gone. when I throw away vape, just. Shh, gone that's but that, that's why now for, for, since we started social media people have been saying do long form do long mm. form and I've just been thinking oh, it's too much money like to create a video like the video we've just done for Will Mellors I reckon I'm even in production value I'm like six seven grand in really on a video yeah well, on Instagram so what video. what video will that be is that... Oh, that's like that went live last night yeah. so what is it I haven't seen it so, so that's um that's like um it's like my idea of a show. So like like a sidemen show mm. or so we had to transform Will and Mellor's garden in three days. Yeah. So like the whole I've seen the I've seen the, the, the photos trailer, of yeah, it, the trailers, but I haven't seen yeah. exactly what it yeah, is. Yeah, so it's basically that that show, but it's gone down like really well. Like right. it's it have a, you have two different algorithms with YouTube. You've got your short form yeah. we, on short form we do thirty million a month, yeah. whereas the long form it last month we did hundred and twenty four million across our platforms. And if we was to do 10% of that on long form, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom, yeah. I made it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, like, now I'm just going to keep keep pushing. It, it is massive. You know, Get I've that. seen people's channels fly with short form. I, I've all, I've never done short form, just do long form. Yeah. So that's, that, that's my thing. I find it harder to make a 60 second reel than I do to edit down but that's where two take, hours of footage to, to 20, form. yeah, to 25 take minutes. From the long form, the so I've just, we've just, Jack's just edited a video, video down, so now what Jack does is, because I'm still particular with the final edit, he'll edit it down normally to three minutes mm. and then I'll chop it to a minute and a half for Instagram. And now he's got to the point where, because he understands me, because... I'm not brutal, but my missus says I am. But if I don't like it, I say, it's just shit, that, mate. We yeah. need to do it again. Yeah, it's but that's not me saying it, like, to offend him. Like, yeah, like it's yeah. got to get better. Like, when he first started, I don't think he knew how to take me because I do, I'm not... Uh, my missus says all the time, like, you've got to say please and thank you after everything. And, like, I've not got fucking time to be like, Jack, do redo that video, please. It's, it's not very good. Like, it's just that shit, redo it. Sugarcoat it. Yeah, sugarcoat it's not it. Good and I know, yeah. And I know that's not... It's probably not the right way, but when I was in a meeting the other day with, uh, I was nearly said it then, a company who was really big, the woman who was in charge of that meeting was just like me. And she was the one that said, we're not doing that script, it's shit. And I just went, yeah. like my heart ruined, so I felt like probably Jack felt when I yeah, said the video. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, but then she was like, this is what we're going to do. We're going to get your personality across by doing interviewing this person. We're going to go around this, we're going to do this. And I was like... Actually, I know that makes sense because um, people see my person. What I thought is I'm going to make my social media work on TV and I know best. And they're mm. like, no, it doesn't work like that. TV's it's different. different it? So it's more, you, you train yourself to do these quick videos and you're like, that works, that works because it gets you 30 million views or something. And, but the reality is when we, me and the Home Improvement Channel was uh, doing Wales, we was in the pub and the guy was there said, um, oh, I've... I've I, re I recognise you, you're that garden guy, aren't you? And then Brad was coming over talking, and then Brad said, oh, you've probably seen this video, and he went, oh, yeah, I've seen that video. Oh, is that you? So that's short form, whereas yeah. long form, it, people recognise you because they're staring at your face for 15 minutes. That's right, yeah, yeah. So it's, mm -hmm. it's a bit, it, the content's different, but getting your head around it all is, is mind-boggling. You, you, you ain't got time to do it in your workshop. I'll make a bit more time. She's waiting for you to come down and do your film. Yeah, I, no, I just think that, that what you've what you've got will, would make great content. Yeah, I, I know it's time. Oh, yeah. But as soon as but, I followed you, I thought that. But you've got yeah. obviously your old man and I'm your brother. I'm well bad. Yeah, but they're all right. They kind of they're like now my dad sees how good it's going. Yeah, he yeah. likes it now. He's like, what are you posting this yeah. week and put that on there. Yeah. So before he was like, what are you doing now? Wasting he's, time. Stop he's, wasting time. Whereas yeah. now he's on board with it. A now little he's bit. like, yeah, he loves it. The website's would he, going what, off. Would he go on camera? 
Did he go on the other I side? I did ask him. I did ask him. Is he like a proper typical? I, I've got a vision of what I think your He's old a governor. man is. He proper governor. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, gov. Yeah, gov. I could imagine it. <laughs> yeah. I could imagine it. Being yeah, like golden. if that ain't good gov. enough, it's getting thrown up the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He just likes he's, so, Yeah, so he's a character. I yeah, bet he's oh, a he brilliant is. character. He would love, to have. do you know what? He would say he'd hate to be here, but he'd I actually he'd love, love a good chat with you. Like he'd sit there for five hours talking yeah. to you. Yeah, hundred percent. He would. I have asked him if he'd go on there and do like a little talk now and again. Yeah, yeah. So I see what he does. But I don't really do a lot of me talking on there. That's what I need to yeah, well, put, what, put you have to you have to put yourself out. There. Yeah. Mm. What you were saying then is when you're saying about like what do you think of it? Like, do you know when you first start social media? And I guess it's like this for everyone. Like the amount of people that took the piss out of me. I had it. It's yeah. So bad. And like mm. now, what are you like, doing that shit for? Yeah, now they're like, how do we do yeah, it? Even yeah, the lads that I play football with, who you make? Some guy said because um, uh, uh, can't remember, we just hit a million or something, and um, the lads at football not really into social media, and some said, oh fucking well done, mate, hitting you. In your so in your million, and uh, one of the lads went, What for fucking cutting grass? <laughs> <laughs> and, I was like, and I was like, What? Well, but then now, like, but that's the rawness yeah. of your yeah. mates. Your yeah, mates yeah. will tell you, Fair play to your one mate for going, Well done, yeah, but yeah. fair play for your other mate for going, For fucking cutting grass, yeah, mm. it's I'm mad. quite, it keeps you grounded. I quite like oh, that 100%. Yeah, but now, now everyone's seeing like my life change, yeah, so like they're seeing so much going on. and like, even like the Will Mellor thing and then the, the person that we're doing next is like one of the biggest creators mm. in England and w when I said to my mates like how the fuck have you done this from cutting grass yeah, and it's yeah. like well, I don't oh, cut I love grass that, yeah. yeah yeah I do like that hard work isn't it mm. but the reason I got the snicker deal is because the woman in the shop when I went to buy some <laughs> snicker stuff uh, I said I'd love a snickers deal me she went <laughs> yeah good luck and I went, oh, you're having it now. Me off. I'm yeah. it. So then I rang him and said, Look, I'd love to work with you. And then he literally checked me out. She went, oh, He's yeah. gone, Do you know Karen yeah. at the Snickers shop? Go and speak to her. Yeah, Fuck yeah. I'm speaking to her. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But she, even the woman, when the Snickers van went to her shop, she went, I feel so bad. Like I told oh, her. Oh, she did? Yeah, yeah. And I, I was, when, they told me when I went to Screwfix Live, they said, Oh, the woman's dead embarrassed, you know. And I said, right. Well, I, I, I love that. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I think that, like you say from before, like when people say you can't do something, even like my teachers in my end of year said, "You'll if you carry on the way you're going, you'll never amount to anything." Mm -hmm. And then when I, I pulled up to her once in a petrol station, I had like an Audi RS6, and she was obviously in the car. She went back, and I went, "All right, miss." Mm -hmm. So like yeah. even like little moments like that's yeah, what yeah, I thrive yeah. on. Because I think because of like not being able to read and write and having ADHD, I think constantly being told you're not going to achieve something, just gives you that fire to be like, I'm going to prove you all wrong. Mm. And thankfully, it's worked out up to now. Yeah, good for you. <clears throat> Should we go to... Uh, final thoughts. Final thoughts. Jerry Springer moment. Oh, Jerry. Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> we don't fight on the show. Yeah. Um, yeah, final thoughts. So what sort of... What would you want to say to someone either coming into what you do or a bit of advice or... Well, you can shamelessly plug yourself. Yeah, plug your Instagram, whatever you want to do. Yeah, no, but I say to any of the girls, if there's any plaster of girls out there, find me, because, yeah, I'll give you a chance in the yard. Or anyone that wants to give it... You ain't obviously got to be a girl. So you could start anyone. a group, the Plast Sisters. Oh, yeah, ah. so that would be good. Oh, I'll tell good, you what, we'd be I'm good, I'm good at the work. It's good, any. I'm good at yeah. the Mini Marys. Plus mini sisters. Marys, I've got a sort of amount of Mini Marys. See, so yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah. And, um, yeah. But you touched on earlier, you want to you, you do sort of uh, sort of a, a classes. Yeah, definitely. I'd love to do that casting classes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give out a you few should, but I, I, I feel like if you ladies all came together, so you've got the likes of Rach, mm. yourself, other people, other ladies that are doing really good work. Take over if you came the world, to, But yeah. if you came together and actually did mm. like online training mm. and actually like showing stuff off, it almost becomes like a, an online trade yeah, university. Mm. Yeah, yeah. No, you know I'd, I'd love mean? to so. do all that. I even like it. You know, like I said, I've got 50 year old men that message me and say, You're doing training because mm. they, they've been doing it for years, but they just say, like, I don't know how you get these little techniques. And you what? Yeah. And the, the whopping. The but yeah, I'll, um, my and website. Is that inclusive of people from Birmingham, just to clear it up as yeah, well? Yeah, no, if you're from Liverpool. Birmingham and Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool yeah. you're very much invited to the yard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We love you all. You're really great. Fibre hands, bowl and brushes. <laughs> but yeah, no, my website as well. Yeah, you can, like I said, you can go on there and buy cornices, ceiling roses, any, mm. yeah. That's yeah, so if you there. need that sort of stuff. And Jack and yeah. I don't all into the description. Uh, yeah, plantsmoldingsdirect.co.uk. Yeah, my socials, you know all that, don't you? 
It'd be in the be in the descript be in the yeah, description. Yeah, socials mate. in the, uh, in the description. description. What, what's yeah. your what's your handle on Instagram? Mary Plaster Mouldings Direct. There we go. What about you then, Mark? A little bit of knowledge, a little bit of wisdom, something to. I would just say, just do whatever you feels right, like, and don't let. It, don't let anyone tell you different like if you believe you want to do something just do it no matter what it is like no one had ever tell me that I'd have what I've got now like so just if you want it go and get it you've just got to work mm. for it hard <laughs> put many hours in really oh, hard. for god's sake <laughs> I'm going home I'm going home and on that Not night, we want it bad hard <laughs> we want it bad wop, hard wop, wop. Yeah. so uh Thank you very much for both coming on. Yeah, no, enjoyed that. I appreciate it. And uh, we got there in the end because the first time had to get cancelled. We, so we nearly, we nearly, uh, we nearly didn't get there today thanks to the good old traffic, the old yeah. M6. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah it's, it's been good having you on. Thank, thank you very much for coming. No, on thanks as well. for yeah. having me. Yeah, yeah, I had a really and, good time today. And hopefully we can make it down to come and uh, do some little Marys. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Because that, that's, that's one thing that I feel like in the trade world mm -hmm. that not enough, which is why I quite like what you and Home Improvement guys do. Where you go and work with other yeah. creators yeah, yeah. we're well, big about. for that like, yeah they asked me to come down I laughed and said it'd be like a circus in the yard uh, yeah, you should, he, should do <laughs> should do something should, you should do Brad something well, oh, I'll, pre, yeah. I'll pre warn you if you have Brad and Phil in there oh, that's who it oh, is Brad and yeah. Phil it will get smashed to bits that, oh, that no, workshop I, said, I was Energetic. like I did I said my dad wouldn't let you two in there no, <laughs> he's like we'll be on our best behaviour I was like no you won't No, he's like a whirlwind we had him on here we had him on here and I was sat there and it just it was carnage unfolded this Scrapping on the floor. Yeah. Mark, Mark was trying to lead the conversation. Fucking hell. Yeah. That it was brilliant. I'll just chuck him out there. See you it later. It was so yeah. stressful. <laughs> we've well, we've just done paradox. that. We did that collab together, didn't we? With, and it, yeah, just trying to get my head around it because Phil yeah. will graft, yeah. and then mm. Brad will do everything other than graft, yeah. and then he'll entertain. And it's like Brad, no, we're here to do a job, mate. With yeah, you, yeah. and he's like, I don't. Uh, we, and it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. come on, make all day. I love spending yeah. time with him. But no, really good to have you on. Really enjoyed it. Oh, it's really, oh, good fun. Thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah, really good. <laughs>